welcome back to my channel yay um today we'll be doing something different yes we'll be doing something different um you know every time we we'll do something different every time we we'll do something new um in this channel you know uh we learn every day every day i can learn from you too you can learn from me you know it's good you learn every day life is a lesson every day you learn so today i'll be showing you guys something different um i want you guys to join me in the kitchen today we'll be cooking <laughs> yes uh some of some people have been asking me how do you prepare your corn pudding and today i want to show you guys how i prepare a corn pudding um in nigeria we call it um yeah we call it corn pudding we call it uboka those that know what i'm talking about to understand what i'm saying uboka how you can prepare your uboka or your corn pudding as you call it so i will show you guys what i use the ingredients in which i use in making my corn pudding so the things i'm using i'm using the corn itself Your nut seasoning, your salt, your cornstarch, be it this one, this brand, or the cornmeal itself, whichever one you feel like using. Your pepper, hot pepper and onions. Your palm oil, and your dry shrimps. If you want to, it's optional. I love it in my pudding, so I'm using some dry shrimps. Some people may say, uh, "Can you use dry fish or the fresh shrimp?" Yes, of course you can. As long as you enjoy the taste, mm -hmm, yes, you can use it. But I prefer the dry shrimp. So that's what I'm using. It's already washed with salt and water. So, so what I do first, and yes, you need your spoon. You need this coffee spoon. I'll tell you the reason why. So that when you want to save some from the bowl, into the container before cooking them you need something deep a spoon that is deep you can't use the regular spoon like other spoon uses stirring no you need a coffee spoon so you can fetch a lot of it and fill it to your container before cooking them you do this corn is already peeled and washed in the running water you wash it in the running water and then what you do the next thing you do you you cut it out of the cup let me show you guys what I do I cut you see you cut it you do it all around. You turn it again. If you can't cut down to the end, you turn it and you cut. So this is how it will be after cutting it out of the cup. This is waste. You trash this. You use this. Trash this. 
use this and now it's time for us to blend our pepper onions and corn
our shrimp. I'm not pouring the shrimp into the um, the comb. No. While I'm serving it into the container to cook, then I add my shrimps. Because we pour the shrimp into the corn, there might not be shrimp in some of the containers. So in order for you to be sure that there's shrimp in all, as you're serving or dishing into the containers to cook, you add your shrimps. So you see how I'm going to do that. So now we're going to stir. So now we're going to add our uh, oil. So you stay. You see, it's, the color has changed because of the oil. Before 30 minutes, trust me, because of the starch, I believe so. So it's gonna go bad. Hello, welcome back. So our pudding is ready, so right now we're gonna check it out. Okay. We bring it closer. You see, this is the outcome. This is the finished look. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Aroma is so tempting. Mm. Those of you that knows what this is, what's well, that? What I'm saying. So. Mm. 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 Oh my God. Mm. This is good. Come on, guys. Give it a try. You enjoy this. It's so good. So, this is the end part of it. I'm still cooking more, but uh, I just want to show you guys. This is the final look. It smells so good. Aroma is so tempting. And it tastes so good. Mmm so good so thank you for staying with me to the end of the video um i'll see you in my next video bye